Be thankful and improve your life. This is gonna seem like a complete departure from my normal content, but I think it's really important. I'm in the middle of a Napoleon Hill book and I think it was something that he said that really triggered this video. So let me get into it right away. What do you have? One of the most overlooked factors of success is understanding what you currently have. When you achieve certain goals, maybe they're monetary goals, business goals, material goals, they are almost always a letdown. You get to the top of the mountain and think, okay, where to from here? You may have been in the same situation. You set yourself a goal for that month, I'm gonna achieve this much money. You finally got that much money and suddenly it doesn't seem like anything because it doesn't really mean mean anything. It's not substantial. We must understand that along our journey we have obstacles, positive moments, negative moments, things within or out of our control. This is the journey. You're not getting to a place and then that's it, it's game over. That's not the way it works. Events are constantly occurring and if we set ourselves up in this way, we will fail. We cannot look at life like that. This is the mistake that so many people make. Some people are born into riches and simply do not value what they have. Perhaps they're spoiled. Perhaps they were never taught to value what others may beg or fight for. Now think about this for a second. If you have the son of a billionaire, for instance, perhaps this person was never even taught to value the Lamborghini that they were just given. Maybe it's really nothing to them. And it's not necessarily their fault. This is what they picked up on from their surroundings. Maybe it is. Maybe they were told the value it they end up being a spoiled brat I can't determine that but it has to be something that is ingrained in you if you weren't taught it you have to learn it we may not be able to change our circumstances instantly but we can change how we perceive it because of course everything in our current state is chosen by us if we feel unhappy that's us deciding to feel that way Everything that we have ever experienced in our lives has been through our five senses. If you want to know more about this, the most amazing book potentially I've ever read, life-changing book, Psycho-Cybernetics. Sounds kind of weird, but just look it up. I think I might have put a link down in the description underneath my favorite books. If it's not there, then just click on one of them, go through, find this book, and get it. I think I bought it used for like a couple bucks. Check it out. We determine our current state. You can choose how you want to feel at any given time. That's the message. If we take a moment to just sit down or lie down, maybe right before bed or a moment in silence at some point throughout the day, we can just think of what we do have. Someone who has torn old shoes may complain he's too poor to buy a new pair, but I'm sure the man with no feet would suggest it could certainly be worse. And I know I'm just using this as an example, but hopefully it makes sense. Be thankful for the little things that you have. When the sun shines, a warm blanket on a cold night, running water, food in the refrigerator, a roof over your head. These are taken for granted, especially in our Instagram selfie world today, and that's truly unfortunate. We see it all the time. All of these things that should be so meaningful to us, that are amazing to us, we look the other way, we have our head down, we're not paying attention. Why? Because we have have a nine to five lifestyle, busy, busy, gotta get going, gotta move. People are not paying attention to the goodness in life. Once you practice this, your fulfillment will bring out joy, even just a small amount, but it can be repeated over and over again. This is something that I believe is fantastic, doesn't cost you a dime, and you can actually feel better than you did the moment prior. Napoleon Hill talks about this and how he repeated this process. Having a sense of satisfaction from what you have now keeps your spirits lifted, which is so important, particularly in difficult times. Reading books that were written by powerful, legendary people will rub off on you in a positive way and can carry on into your day. This is why I believe everybody should always be listening to different types of positive messages, of different audiobooks, of smart people, of intelligent people, of people that you respect. You listen to them while you're in transit. People are always going somewhere or maybe they're doing exercise in that period of time, you should be listening to something that lifts you up.
And just to finish off the video, be thankful for those that care for you, but even those that criticize you. Stay true to your values and principles and don't allow negativity and fear masquerading as honest criticism to get to you. You have to be you. The negative forces are always going to come around and manifest themselves in one form or another. The more people's lives that you touch, the more negative forces are going to come out and try to pull you down. All you can do is try your best. That's all for this video. I'm going to end it there. I hope that even though this is completely different than what I normally do, that you found some benefit in it. I tried to keep it as short as possible. Thank you for listening. Take care.